Bienvenue, uh, Dangan Rompa. We are uh, we are in the middle of a class trial right now, and it's kind of messy. It, it, this one really like sped by. It was uh, it was kind of um. It was kind of what was what am I trying to say? It was kind of crazy. I like we didn't have a lot of time to go over the trial, which the game even like like game like Monokuma like rushed it, and Makoto was like, "Wow, that wasn't a lot of time." So I felt better because I was like, "Man, I feel like a dingus right now." Um, that being said, we do have a lot of evidence, but it's just putting it all together. It has to be done in the middle of the class trial, so it's a lot of like taking what someone says, using it as a bullet, and shooting it back at them. Uh, well, not a lot, but um, I'm gonna guess it's gonna be more of that, and. I'm just not sure that it's Toko. I'm just not sure that it's Toko. I, I mean, Toko had something to do with it, but did Hero kill her or did did Toko kill her? And that, that's what I'm trying to think is like, did Hero just knock her out and then Toko finish the job? I think so. I think so. Yeah, is that what they were just saying? Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, I'm trying to um my my brain is like a little fudgy right now, but let, let's just let's come on, let's stop. It's a minute fifteen. Let's get back into it. Let's see what's going on. I got my I don't know what my theory is right now. I don't know who did it, but there's more to it this case than what is right off the top of the bat. Sh shut up. Until two seconds ago, you, you were claiming you killed her. I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. That's just the kind of guy I am. Plus, I just remembered something that proves it. What's that? Okay, fine. Let's hear it. It was right after I got Ogre's note. Mm -hmm. I was kind of nervous about it, so I went to the rec room early. You know, to stake it out or whatever. So I was waiting there, and that's when I saw her. I saw Toko go into the rec room. You did? Pretty soon, Ogre showed up, and she went into the rec room. I assumed Toko was still in there, so I figured everything would be okay. That's why I headed in. But when I got inside, Ogre was all alone. Toko had Toko in the locker. And you just now decided to share that with us? After the shock of thinking I'd killed someone, I forgot all about it. Could someone tighten the screws on his brain? I think they've come loose. So, Toko, fucking, where the heck did you disappear fucking to? Fucking Kuya. Fucking Tagami. Uh... You don't know what you're talking about. I never went in the rec room. I'm sure she didn't disappear. But maybe she found somewhere to hide. Yeah, bitch. Hiding in the rec room? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Why are you all ganging up on me? You're all nothing but... Vermin! <laughs> no, it's not ridiculous at all. I need proof that shows Toko was hiding in the rec room. And I have it. She left it there for anyone to find. A new element has had... To Holy fuck! I guess... Tell me more. So far, you've probably been pressing the left mouse button during your final strike without a second thought. But from now on, you're going to have to pay a little extra attention to your finishing blow. Now, you'll have to choose the proper truth bullet to use during your coup de grace. Uh, you'll, se you'll select it the same way as the nonstop debate. Simply press the Q key, nor, <laughs> nor do not use the mouse wheel. Um, also, like the debate, if your logic difficulty is set to kind, you'll have fewer bullets to choose from. But for educational purposes, we're going to pretend you're set to mean regardless. Just this once, okay? Oh, by the way, you're about halfway through the game now. Go you, halfway? Well then, good luck and have fun. Holy fuck, dude! I like how long this game is, actually. I don't, I'm not getting bored of it. But halfway, holy fuck. Alright, I gotta keep time. It's a Boop. lie! I admit nothing! I hate you! I curse you. No, no, no! That's enough! I admit nothing. I curse you. I curse you. It's a lie! That's enough! It's a lie! Oh, fuck. Glass shards on the floor. Locker handprint. Ah, 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 locker handprint. Locker handprint! Holy fuck. Ooh. Shit, okay. I'm I'm down. I'm really down. I liked it. I'm I was uh I was Did sad that it, it seemed like it was kinda coming to a conclusion. The inside of the locker? Guys, that's it. Dude, that is long. I've already spent like how many hours on this? Uh you know someone left a handprint behind on the inside of the locker? He must have been hiding in there and put their hand on the wall without thinking. Does this handprint look familiar, Toko? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay then, let's just compare it to your hand, shall we? That'll clear everything up, right? Mm -hmm. yeah! 
Whoopee. Stop wasting my time. Just tell us the truth. Okay, Be good lawyer. My handprint. Oh yeah. shit. She just straight up admitted it. <laughs> this fucking then all the admissions. You killed Sakura. No, I swear there's no way. Out with it. I probably did kill her. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> There's no fucking way! You definitely did. Yeah, you know what? You're probably fucking right. Straight up again. Damn, Wait, look at her go. What do you mean probably? Give us the details, Toko. What happened between you and Sakura? Mm. Talk. Now. Nice. After I read Sakura's note, I decided to go there early. So I went into the rec room. I didn't know what she might do if I didn't go. But I was too scared to face her head on. So I figured I'd just sneak in first and hide in the locker. Then, did you see what happened? Did you see me hit her? Yes. And I saw you write my name. I saw you forge her dying message. Well, <laughs> that's, I was just, I was just thinking that. Kyoko couldn't get it out of her. Byakuya, tell me. So after he left, I jumped out of the locker and put the magazine back on the shelf. Put the elf did, back on the put shelf. It back upside down. I didn't mean to. I was in a hurry. Imbeciles, all of you. Forget all that. Why did you attack Sakura? After I put the magazine back, I heard a sound behind me like a like a monster growling. And when I turned around, she was still alive. There was Sakura, <laughs> blood, and staring right at me. <laughs> that's fucking. That's why. That's my new background. <laughs> Every day when I wake I up. I saw that blood. I fainted right there in front of the magazines. Oopie. I don't remember what Oopie happened doop. after that. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask her. Are we? Her? You mean? <laughs> oh. <laughs> It was your fault after all. My fault? Master's fault? When our faults combine, they soar to even greater heights. Well. Just answer the question. Did you kill Sakura? Well, to be honest, Miss Morose and me don't actually share our memories. Oh, so shit. I can't okay. Really say what was going on. But I was just minding my own business, sleeping peacefully when someone shook me awake. Was it a prince paying me a visit? I wondered. So I opened my eyes to see. Not prepared for that. Okay. And, well, I guess it took me by surprise. I got so startled, I smacked her with the first thing I could find, which I guess was a bottle. Sakura was just worried about you, and you. You're terrible! A bottle? No, she's terrible! Thanks to her, I murdered someone who wasn't an adorable boy for the first time ever! And when it was all over, you collected the pieces of the bottle to get rid of the evidence, didn't you? Okay. I wasn't about to die for some woman. If I'm gonna go down, I want it to be for killing Master. I was wondering. I was like, wait, didn't we all go through this? I thought. I thought. Um, Toko, not Genesis, Jill. I thought Toko actually clicked the bottle pieces, but then she was like, I probably did. I she's like, I probably did, but I don't fucking know. Uh, Just nice. go away and die your meaningless death alone. Don't drag me into it. Look at him go. Yeah, literally, break, <laughs> fucking Super Saiyan me. Sakura. Ah, uh, but I just can't catch a break. Fate's got it out for me. Sakura should have been able to dodge my attack, no problem. Even as strong as she is, she must have still been reeling from Hero's attack. Hey, come on, that's, you know. But anyway, I'm not the one that killed Ogre, so that's good. I like that. So that's good. Keep talking like that. Well, he was gonna. That's that. Let's start the boat. No, motherfucker. Huh? I thought you sure for you have some words for here on What's that one. Wrong? Come on, everyone. We're ready to vote, right? Let's do it. No, we this. ain't. No, we no. ain't, hero. Not quite. Hero? Yet. Hina. Fuck. Huh? huh? Not yet? Why not yet? Is it Hina? Don't you think there was something odd about Toko's story? I mean, you had to have noticed. Odd? Huh? Hero's attack, and then Toko's. But that still wasn't the end of it. Who lied? It, 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 yeah, it wasn't. Tell it wasn't. Us your story the, the ring. One more time. Tell us what happened after you fainted. Then even this gaggle of idiots should understand what I'm talking about. God bless you, Biakuya. Your wish is my command, darling. 
she really do. She really do be like that. I'll kill you where you stand. Your mission, your wish, your mission. It's not over yet, is it? The one who killed Sakura is. Make your argument. Uh, okay. I was just sleeping peacefully, and all of a sudden, Sakura was right there in front of me. I remember waking up right in front of the. Let's let's take a look at these guys. Let's say Sakura is found dead, seated in a chair, slumping forward, trace of blood in front of her mouth. That that could be it. Uh, the yellow powder might contradict something. Uh, yellow powder. Yep. And then I f oh Kyoko's examination summary. I'm gonna guess you it's gonna taken be. taken by surprise when you saw Ogre covered in blood. So you smashed her head in with the Monokuma bottle? You got it! I smashed her good! And where did the attack take place? Right where I woke up! Which is in front I of the magazine thing. In front of the show. Good, no, that's fucking lit! Alright, there we go. It's nice to get those clean now, <laughs> instead of fucking fumbling through them. Right in a chair. Yeah. If the blow by the shelf was the cause of death, there's no explanation why she was in that chair. Mm, yeah, it's so, it's like mm, it's like a chef's noticed. kiss of like catharsis or something. It's like when you like snap a piece of celery or something. It's like a clean break. That's just another lie from a bloodthirsty serial killer. Are you sure you didn't attack her while she was sitting in the chair? No, I'm sure she's telling the truth. Anyone who saw the murder scene the should blood think stain. the same way. There's a blood stain in front of the magazine stand. That has to be it. Oh wait, you know what? I, I fucking missed what he said. Apologies. Um, we found Sakura sitting up right in a chair. If the blow by this note, so you finally notice. He should attack one. No, I'm sure he's telling it. Yeah, okay, that has to be it. The evidence that proves there was attack from the magazine shop is the blood stain. The I magazine died. shelf blood stain. Sakura was definitely Hi, attacked Shibu. in front of the shelf. The blood stain by the magazines is proof of that. Mm -hmm. Then she must have moved the body after she killed her, right? All to make it look like I did it. Because when I hit her, she was sitting in the chair. How'd she get over hey, there? Come on now, look at me. I can't carry anything heavier than my own scissors. You can hang bodies up, though. There's no way I could move a muscle-bound heavyweight like that. Then, then what's the deal? Well... Are you still convinced the case has come to an end? Does everyone fucking come in and I like, fucking touch this body at some point? But, but... Plus, the biggest mystery of all, the locked room, still has yet to be explained. Until we take care of that, we can't say this case it's has gotta been be properly to do with said. Aoi, because it's like you, you would, like, she's like, it's one of those three, and you're like, immediately you're kind of like, yeah, okay, it's probably one of those three, but no, bitch, it fucking ain't. That's the thing. I doubt that scissors coming. Mm -hmm. oh, I doubt easy. as well. Right, I missed what Goku said. Until we take care of. Uh, yeah. After she killed Sakura, Toko just hid in the locker again. No, bitch. Oh. So she just hid in there till everyone showed up and opened the door. And while everything was all confused and hectic, she just snuck out of the locker into the group. No, no bitch. I don't think that's possible. The reason there's no way Toko was hiding the locker is because. Um, I, I saw it for myself. I got it. The door to the rec room. Hina and I both got a look inside. And at that point, the locker was already open. Okay. So obviously, Toko couldn't have been hiding in there. <sighs> okay then. Where was she hiding? Where was she know. hiding, that What's motherfucker? What's the room thing about anyway? How do you not know? You killed her. I think the fact that I don't know proves I didn't kill her. Thank you very much. You're lying. A fucking nasty ass little smile. The pig fat tongue is the worst fucking part. No, she's not. I've been saying all along, there's still more to this case. There's still but more to this case. But Jill didn't do it. That means Ogre didn't die from the shot to the head. <laughs> well, well, I can't imagine what else could have killed her. That's because you're overlooking vital information. Could really be something so important. Is there another possible illustration? Maybe it's. Yeah, she really is. They did a good job with the character design in this game. Like it's, I, it's like, it's just I fucking love it. Um, okay, yellow powder, Monaco file number four, Aoi's account. Let's, let's take a look, shall we? Let's take it. So Monaco file. 
The victim was Sakura Ogami. Time of death is to be on 12 noon. Bodies covered in the rec room and through for the school. There is evidence of a strong blow to the victim's head. No other injuries were noted. However, it seems that at that point, the victim suffered from violent vomiting of the blood. So it could be something to do with that. I think it was the yellow powder. That was a count. Sakura had written notes to Tokopiaku and Yasuhiro asked him to be in the rec room by noon. She had slid these notes underneath each person's door. Yellow powder. Yeah, there was yellow powder was found on the instep of Sakura's foot. I think it's Monokuma file number four. If it wasn't from Genocide Jill's attack, it wasn't from Genocide was Jill's it? attack. There's no other possible cause. What killed Sakura? I can't think of anything other than the shot to her head. No, bitch. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. Doing better. Getting a lot better. My hearts are back up after that fucking stint in the beginning. According to the Monokuma file, Sakura had vomited blood. Vomited blood. I think we can assume there's a chance this was related to her cause of death. Her cause fact, of death. There was even a trace of blood left around her mouth. Well, I mean, maybe when she got hit with the bottles, she cut the inside of her mouth. No, if motherfucker. That's all it was, the file wouldn't have specified vomited blood. Not to mention, I didn't find any cuts inside her mouth. Ugh. You even checked in there? God, you really are into dead bodies! Oh my god, that's so disgusting. No, I'm not into dead bodies. What I'm into is solving mysteries. <laughs> I fucking love that response. It's just, fucking, it's just fucking... It's just like, no, I'm not into dead bodies. I'm into being a fucking a superhero. I don't know. Thing, that was that one's dead. Vomit blood. Brain big. Life good. Some sort of reaction within her body. Most likely, Sakura was poisoned. Mm. Poisoned? Poisoned. That's right. This Calzone. is the conclusion I've arrived at, and so there can be no mistake. No, bitch. <laughs> You're making me go all weak in the knees! She was poisoned? It isn't possible! Sit in Popsibla. Is it really so I mean, if that's her thing, man, we all, we all have our kink. exactly how the culprit was able to poison her. You can explain it? Of course, if you don't mind. Everyone quiet! Shut up and listen to Master! But you're the only one talking. Take it to a fucking crime scene. The key to unlocking this mystery was hiding in the chem lab up on the fourth floor. Huh? Not in the rec room? Then I could have found it all along. Wait, I... Okay. Everyone, shut up and listen to Master, but you're the only one talking. The key to unlocking the mystery is hiding in the chem lab. All right. You never would have, since you gave up on the search the moment you were barred from the crime scene. You fucking Well, dude. yeah, good point. There's a big shelving unit in the chem lab that houses a variety of mixtures and chemicals. And that's where I found this. Is that the poison? It's not an especially powerful poison, but it'll still kill you if you drink an entire bottle. Okay. But the specific properties don't matter. What does matter is where I found it. Where'd you find it? The shelf is divided up into three sections, A, B, and C. Mm -hmm. In section A, dietary supplements, in B, reagents, and in C, a variety of lethal chemicals. And that's where the poison came from? Section C? Mm-mm-mm, well, bitch. that's the question, isn't it? The bottle of poison Biaki you just showed us. I'm sure I know where he got it. It was on the same shelf as the supplements. I'm positive. I got it. I the am poison positive. Poison was actually in section A, wasn't it? Huh? But you just said that section A was for supplements or whatever. No, you fucking Strange, tool. Strange, isn't it? Why would there be a bottle of poison mixed in with all those nutritional additives? Yeah. So, why? Because the culprit switched it out. That's why. W what do you mean? Here, ah, oh. owie. I mean this. I don't fucking trust that. I couldn't believe my eyes. I know he's big, lovable, fucking lummox. That man. I couldn't believe my eyes. I could put the bottle of poison to his lips and. Master. Master. We were so shocked at what we were seeing. All we could do is stand there and watch. But as if it were the most natural thing in the world, Biakia was as calm as ever. Ugh, that tastes awful. Oh no! Master's in real trouble! Oh no! Drink some water! You can't just swallow powder! It'll stick to your throat! Idiot! He just swallowed poison! We need to make him spit it out! The flavor certainly makes me want to spit it out. 
What's so high quality about this stuff? <laughs> What's so oh, high quality? What are you talking it's about? It's the protein powder, bitch. I'm talking about the protein, of course. Protein? Can I see that bottle for a second? Uh, sure. Do whatever you like. Kyoko took the bottle from Byakuya and scraped out a bit of the contents with one finger. She touched her finger to her tongue. This is... It's protein powder. Correct. That wasn't poison in the bottle, but harmless protein powder. Well... Which makes one wonder, the poison that should have been in that bottle, where did it go? Was that the one that was spilled on the, spilled on the ground? The bottle of poison actually filled with protein powder. Which means that, firstly, the poison must have been... Could it be? Your fucking protein shake, bitch. Hangman's Gambit. Protein... Uh, okay, well, I know what that is. Oh, no, 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 no. Pro... What do you see? Pro... Yee, any, any. Wait. Yeah, I do. Oh, fuck. Get fucked up. Protein. Drink, drink. Yeah, drink. Okay, drink. I was like, I was like, I don't know what the fuck that word is. Drink. Come on, baby. Give me that in. Give me an in. What the fuck? I need... I need... I need an end. There it is. <laughs> what the fuck's it taking so long? Now I understand. Now I get it. Oh my god, complete. The poison protein drink must have been poured into the protein can. If the protein's in the poison bottle, it seems only logical to assume the reverse is true, right? Absolutely. The contents of each container were switched. Yeah, so the protein was in the bottle of poison, and the poison was in the protein can. Once you accept that, it becomes obvious how the culprit was able to get Sakura to drink the poison. Holy crap! All they had to do was hand her something there at the scene, and she was happy to drink the poison herself. Something at the scene? A protein I drink. Okay, yeah, I was like, You're is that, it seems too obvious. You're saying a protein drink, right? Yeah. A protein drink which actually contained a deadly poison. <laughs> That's all it took to kill Sakura. That is the true cause of death. Does Aoi know that she did it, I wonder? I, I, I'm like super suspect of Aoi. You know, I do remember Ogre saying that protein stuff was good for all kinds of aches and pains. So maybe she took it to try and help with the whole bleeding head wound thing. <laughs> but what was offered to her instead was a bottle full oh, of poison. Oh, interesting. And I already know exactly who swapped the mixtures. Who fucking did For it real? then? Who was it? Evidence revealing who replaced the two materials was left in the chem lab for anyone to see. The evidence shows they switched them. It has to be. It must be what we found in front of the shelf. Um. Oh, the footprints. I got it. Yeah, bitch. The I do got it. I got it. Good, the bitch. Shelf. The footprints left behind. That's the evidence you're talking about, isn't it? Yeah, baby. I visited the chem lab this morning, and there were definitely no footprints there at that point. They must have appeared around the time of the murder, which leaves no doubt that they're connected. What's more, the footprints were in front of Section A, where I found the bottle meant for the poison. Mm. The culprit must have gone to Section A to swap the poison and protein, leaving their footprints behind. I'm like barely following this one. Were, figuring out who they belong to will pose no problem. All we have to do is check everyone's footprints right now. Then we'll see who... It was me. The footprints, they're mine. Everyone's fucking, yeah. everyone's fucking admitting this round. Oh, fuck. If we're all gonna find out anyway, I'd rather you hear it straight from me, you know? Then, Ogre's killer was... Yep. I did it. I killed Sakura. Just as I suspected. The footprints were made by a pair of sneakers. There was no mistaking it. And the only people here who wear out. sneakers are... Sneakers, huh? Diono, Makoto, and Hina. I got it! 
<laughs> Me and Hina are the only ones. Oh, yeah, literally. So Thank God. That explains why you. I'm glad. I'm glad because part of me's like, oh shit, I feel like I should know some of this. Right, that's why he was so sus. Makoto, are they yours? No. Okay, then let me see if she was not confirmed this size for myself. If the footprints didn't belong to Makoto, that left only one other possibility. Just Hina. Plus, Hina's been acting strange ever since the trial began. You were in an awful rush to get to the vote, weren't you? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. She was pushing this so hard. I just didn't know. Focused on pinning the I just didn't have the evidence. On someone else, haven't you? Yep. I... I can't believe it. Yeah, it seems weird that she what would, like, knowingly do it. What about it? Can't you believe? Well, it's just... The two of them were so close. That's likely exactly why it turned out this way. Because they were so close, Sakura didn't think twice about it when Hina handed her the concoction. Hina used that trust to kill her. She deceived the victim, and she tried to deceive all of us. I have to say, Hina, coming from you, this was a particularly nasty little scheme. It still just doesn't feel 100% right. Like, there's something still there. Is it true? Did you really kill Sakura? And if you did, why? Why would you do that? I found her. There in the rec room. She was hurt. She asked me to bring her that protein drink. But when I went to get the powder from the chem lab, it just occurred to me all of a sudden. Now's my chance to kill her. That's what you thought, right? That's when you switched out the protein powder, and that's when you gave her the poisoned mixture. And then she downed it all at once. And, and then... Hold it. I'm not convinced. Okay, thank fucking Christ. Because I was like, is that really You're it? You're not about to claim she wouldn't kill a close friend, are you? You still don't get it, do you? The game we're playing here isn't so kind. Honeyed words like friendship don't matter here. What matters is outwitting the opponent, defeating them. Not a person alive would sacrifice themselves for another. In the end, we're all in it for ourselves. Just like how this girl sacrificed Sakura to save herself. You say that, but I'm still not convinced. Yeah, man, I'm still not convinced. How many times do I don't you know plan what it to repeat is. yourself? Don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying it because of some misguided sentimentalism, but there's still that one unsolved mystery, and I'm not convinced. Are you talking about the locked room problem? Mm -hmm. Hina, if you really are the killer, explain it. How did you create that locked room? Well, well, well um. That doesn't matter. Just because I'm guilty, that means I have to tell you everything? No, it doesn't. But the fact that you won't tell us concerns me. What did they want to just like, did they just want a clean slate? Like just fucking end it all kind of Surely thing? Surely you're not. Do you honestly think Hina didn't actually kill her? I just don't think Hina meant to kill her. I don't fucking know, man. And if I do? Does it, was it Byakuya? That was like, oh my God, what's going on? Impossible. She switched out the mixtures. She's the culprit. There's no way you can doubt this. Who the fuck did it? I have no fucking clue. I have no fucking clue right now. I'm thinking maybe now I'm like, I'm on to Byakuya because he's the one, I, I'm thinking that he's trying to orchestrate something. Are you sure about that? Even ignoring the fact that I don't want to believe it, it just doesn't fit. What doesn't fit? I mean, why would someone leave such a clear clue like a footprint? Mm -hmm. It's too obvious, too easy. I'm thinking maybe Sakura did. I'm, I'm thinking maybe Sakura was like, I want to kill myself. He's I want right. to do it myself. It makes it look like you wanted people to suspect you. Because she didn't want people knowing that Sakura. That, that was. I was just nervous. So. I, I didn't notice I'd left a footprint. She could fuck his you friend. didn't notice? Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, that's just how it was. What can I do? What can, what you gonna do? Listen, Hina, could you go into a bit more detail? Mm -hmm. Tell us more about when you switched the poison and the protein. But how come? That doesn't matter. Hina, please, I'd like to know too. Um. Fine. Waste your time if you like. It's clear that Hina is the culprit. Bruh. 
There's a nobody moment, else Byakuya. to suspect. Nobody else could have possibly done it. Go ahead. Yeah. Start from the moment you arrived at the chem lab. Well, right away, I went to section C and got the poison. Uh -huh, uh -huh, and is that uh -huh. when you spilled the powder in front of that part of the shelf? Yeah. When I opened the bottle, I dropped it like an idiot. I see. <sighs> okay, then. Go on. So then I moved to section A and got the protein powder. And that's mm -hmm, where mm -hmm, I switched mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's only Once footprints I was in section A, that, fuckface. I took the protein can that had the poison in it and left the room. Let me just go through that again. I think I'm going to have to fucking piss as well because I'm, I'm shaking. Uh, so then I moved to section A and got the protein powder. And that's where I switched them. Once I was done with that, I took the protein can that had the poison in it and, ooh, and left the room. Okay. Well, well, well. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go to the washroom super fucking quick. So Shit, dude. Uh... Mm -mm -mm. I don't know what's going on. I was thinking. Okay, I was thinking about why I had a pee. I think. It, I think it was just that Sakura wanted to take her own life, and that she used Hina, um, and that she wanted Hina to help her. Like that's what I'm thinking. Or maybe Sakura just took her own life and he now realized that and then she was trying to cover her tracks but then what would that be that would that would mean that everyone everyone's gonna fucking die what the fuck dude what the fuck <coughs> oh my god did did sakura tell her something about <coughs> something about did sakura tell her something about like what happens after graduation I don't fucking know, man. Okay, I took the protein can that had the poison in it and but left the room. I accidentally put the bottle filled with protein powder back on the wrong shelf. Okay, and because I was wondering that, how that got there. Everything I did got found out. And that's it. That story you just told. First you went to section C to get the poison. Then moved to section A to get the protein, right? Yeah, uh, was the Meaning you went from section C to section a do i have that correct y yeah but if that's true no bitch isn't that a little strange can you repeat that series of events one more time so it heard the footprints What's wrong with, with match. You, Big Mac? you're being oddly pushy <laughs> yeah it's bitch. The same thing no matter how many times you hear it how long until you're satisfied how long until we figure it out until i cover the full truth of this case all right, let's do it. Make your argument. Footpr it's going to be footprints in the powder. It's going to be footprints in the powder. First, I went to section C. Okay. That's when I grabbed the poison. Okay. And you spilled some of the powder on the ground in front of the shelf. Yeah. When I grabbed the bottle, I dropped it. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and then? I moved from section C to section A. No, Didn't even have to hear the rest of that. I knew that shit was wrong, bitch. You said you went to get the poison from Section C. And that's where you spilled the powder, right? Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah? What about it? And after that, you said you moved from Section C to Section A to get the protein. Uh-uh, honey. Uh-uh, bitch. But the footprints left at the scene were not moving from Section C to Section A. That contradicts what you just said. What you just said. What? what you just said. Then maybe she moved in some weird direction on purpose to disguise her movements? No, that can't be it. Remember what Hina just said? I was just nervous, so I didn't notice I'd left a footprint. Oh my god. My fucking, <laughs> the fucking uh, cuff of my pants like moved up and it felt like there was something that ran past my foot. Yeah, we've had house centipedes under this fucking, under, under my fucking desk before, so I was like, panic, no. What the, Hina, what's the meaning of this? Oh, big, um, big B, big B is upset. You lied to us, oh. plain and simple. If you look at the footprints, your movements in the chem lab are obvious. You're fucking obvious, you stupid. The powder had already been spilled when you came in, and you went straight to section A. Mm -mm -mm. So you never went to section C. Whatever you did there, it only involved Section A. Well, you see... There she goes. What the... 
Wie arg wie er. Oh mein Gott, das ist so satisfying. Wir haben ihn, wir haben ihn! Holy shit. God, that felt cathartic. Oh my god, I've never seen him like that. It's like Celeste, like Celeste is in mind for the first time. What? Before I explain that part, I'd like to submit some new evidence. Would you, bitch? Impossible, there can't be. Ooh, I think, I think. Are you sure? Did he do it? After all, you're the one that gave it to me. I did? It was hidden inside the bottle of poison you gave me. I'm amazed you of all people would miss such a vital clue. A truly grave oversight. This bitch. Just say it already. What is it you think you found? I found this. A piece of glass. Wait a minute. It had sunk to the bottom of the bottle. And the hidden clue was exposed. Thanks to you ingesting the powder. I couldn't have solved the mystery without you. So thank you for that. Thank you for that. But Thanks for your it? help. Oh, you still don't realize? Well then. Has to do with something the broken glass in front of the window. Makoto, why don't you explain it? Shit! Huh? Hmm? Yeah! <laughs> oh, he's scared. Fine. If you really do know, explain the meaning of that shard of glass. The shard of light blue glass found in the bottle. Can we find the bottle of poison? I think I remember now. I broke something the same shade of blue. The rec room window. It. It's part of the window from the rec room door, right? The window? Yeah. The window we broke to get in was light blue. Just like that. So I think that must be it. <laughs> oh, true. Did, did you, uh, you stayed up till 11 a.m. and then you slept? You're right. It must be. Of course, that leads to another question. How did a shard of glass from the window get inside this bottle of poison? What's so strange about that? What? What's what? strange is it's that? What's strange about that? According to what Hina told us. Where was it the bottle of poison should have been when I broke the rec room? According to what Hina told us, section A of the shell. I got it. Damn, the look at those fucking hearts. They're gonna go when I have to do that final Cadillac. moment. That is what you said, right, Hina? I give to Dira. What is UDG? Yeah, very swear. Very, very fair. Uh, that is what you said, right, um, Hina? Um. And yet, somehow a piece of glass from the rec room window made its way into the bottle. Everything Hina told us was a lie? In reality, that bottle of poison most definitely found its way to the rec room. What the it was fuck? there at least until the window got broken. In other words, when the locked room was unlocked. There's no other way to explain the presence of that glass in that bottle. Oh, really? That's so funny. Oh, that's sweet. That's really kind of you. And then, once the room was opened, the bottle somehow got moved back to the shelf in the chem lab. Meanwhile, the protein can we found at the crime scene was planted there. Mm. That had to be after the locked room was opened. In other words, after Sakura died. Because it was on top of the glass. It was on top of the glass. Too fast. I'll Shut up, you. The bottle of poison may well have been in the rec room when it was locked. But how can you say the protein can was put there after the room was unlocked? Oh, Piakuya. We already know she was given the protein can with the poison inside, right? If that can wasn't there when she died, how did she get poisoned? You're right. We do need to explain that. But before we do, there's something I'd like to confirm with everyone here. Oh, that's really nice. That's not really nice of you. That's a really sweet thing. We already know she was getting the protein can. If that wasn't there when she died, how'd she get poisoned? Yeah, sometimes you just want to see people react to like a, a game that you especially like too. All right, but before we do, there's something I'd like to confirm with everyone here. It has to do with the protein can. The protein can. After Sakura's body was discovered, did anyone move it or trip over it or anything like that? What are you talking about? Is this some kind of loaded question? I mean, yeah. Not at all. Oh, just okay. Never mind. The best of your ability. Well, no, not that I remember. Yeah, me either. Not me. Same here. Yeah, me either. Okay then, that settles it. 
That proves that the protein can found its way to the murder scene after the room was open. Oh, come mm. on! How can you say that? You How fuck can face. you know what I don't know? I'm gonna fuck you up, bitch. There's evidence. There's proof that someone brought the protein can. The reason she can say that is because there's evidence. There's proof that someone brought the protein can to the rec room after it was opened. Uh, I don't think I actually have glass for this. Do I have the source of the powder, empty protein drink? Okay, let's look at the... When it comes to... Let's look at the clues. Um, empty protein drink. An empty protein drink was found in the rec room door. The container had a label reading Chem A2. Uh, the shards of glass from the window that was broken to get into the room were found both around and underneath the container. Uh, when it comes to, yeah, okay, it's gotta There's be the empty protein drink. My mind. Until the locked room was unlocked, it absolutely was not in there. Yeah, bitch. So you're saying someone planted it there after we got the door open? Mm -hmm, no, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. no, that's impossible. It, it had to have been in there the whole time. It had to be. It was in there before the rec room was... No, that's yeah, fuck it, my boy Byakuya. Togami? You Togami? remember how there was broken glass all right. scattered all around the room, right? I certainly of do. Course. Do you? It came from the window you broke to get in. What about it? Well, those pieces weren't just scattered around the protein can. He also found pieces underneath the can. What? Shh. God, seeing him fucking flustered is so fucking and satisfying. It. It's so it, satisfying. It shows that the can must have been put down on the floor after the window was broken. So it had to be after we got into the room. <laughs> I, I see. So that's your explanation. Kyoko, earlier when you asked if anyone had moved the can or tripped over it. I, I forgot. I, I, I did. If that were the case, that would explain the can being on top of the glass. So you asked everyone about it to eliminate that possibility right out of the gate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, and okay, that's okay. And made everything clear, hasn't it? As long as it was a locked room, it only contained the bottle of poison and not the protein can. But once the room was opened up, they were switched. And as a result, the protein can wound up in the rec room and the bottle of poison returned to the chem lab. <laughs> oh fuck! That's it is like. True. Then mm, why did Sakura oh, drink the like poison? Money. It's so good. I thought we all agreed she was tricked into drinking it because of the protein can. No, that's not why. God, my, my brain's been turning off. If that's all true, then why did Sakura drink the poison? I thought we all agreed she was tricked. So maybe he did. Did he not do it? Maybe he didn't do it. Maybe she the did it on. The explanation is, she drank it from its original bottle knowing exactly what it was precisely she was alone in a locked room all she had was the poison what other possibility is there you're saying she drank it knowing what it was such a ridiculous fiction is is exactly what happened shit then tell us already okay er, sorry please tell us it, that was some uh, uh, uncharacteristic deference Before there. That's we funny. Get to that, we need to clarify one other thing. We need to establish who exactly got the poison from the chem lab and took it to the rec room. It was, um, what's her name? It nuts? was Hina, right? She took it and gave it to Ogre. <laughs> what do you think, Makoto? Mm -mm -mm. The one who got the poison from the chem lab and brought it to the rec room, it had to have been Sakura. I got it! Bow. I think... It was Sakura herself. Huh? So Sakura, who was apparently murdered, just poisoned herself? Mm -hmm. well, what are you talking about? There's no way! On the contrary, we know for a fact she went to the chem lab, right to the section full of poison. And you know You're why? Lying. Stop lying! No. Why? Why would you lie like that? No, it's not a lie. Sakura definitely went to section C. Kyoko already showed me the evidence I need. Now I have to hit Hina with it. Bah! I have to make her accept it. Here we go. All right, I got my foot tapping ready. You're a liar. What are you saying? 
wrong. You're wrong. I'm telling you, I did it. Stop talking. You're a liar. Wrong. You're wrong. Wrong. You're wrong. I hate you. You're a liar. What are you saying? Wrong. You're wrong. I'm telling you, I did it. Stop talking. You're a liar. Wrong. You're wrong. Wrong. You're wrong. Do you have any kind of proof Sakura took the poison? This should prove it. Yeah, I fucking do, motherfucker. Motherfucker. All right. This should prove it. You yeah. stupid. Did you know that bitch. Sakura's foot had a certain yellow powder stuck to it? Um. It did. It certainly it did, did, my girl. It certainly fucking the did. The same yellow powder that had been spilled by the shelf in the chem lab. That powder was yellow, wasn't it? So the powder we found on Sakura. What else could it be but the powder from the chem lab? Uh. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. So, what was that powder doing on Over's foot? And it was only on her instep, right? Sakura must have been standing right there where the powder was spilled. So the person who spilled the powder by the shelf wasn't Hina, mm -hmm. but Sakura. Okay, that makes sense. And when Sakura dropped the bottle, she dropped it away from where she was actually standing. Which is how she was able to avoid getting it all over herself. But the powder still got scattered around, and some of it must have wound up on her instep. Okay. Is there any problem with my thinking? But why did Sakura pay a visit to Section C in the first place? The only explanation is that she was looking for poison. After all, that's all that section contained. Mm -hmm. No! It was me! I... the poison! Because... Because... Because I killed her! No, you didn't kill her. The one that killed Sakura... The connection between Sakura and the poison, the unsolved mystery of the locked room. There's only one way to explain it. Is this the final select someone? Yeah, that's that's cool. They actually let you choose the I knew this was gonna be a thing. Here's my answer. Got it, baby. Got it. Okay. The one who killed Sakura was Sakura, was Sakura herself. herself. <laughs> what? The killer was Shit. Sakura? Everyone got fucking messed Wait, up by so that. Saying it was suicide? I don't believe it. I don't believe it any more than I believe I can fly. I can't believe it either. Or rather, I don't want to believe it. But when you really think about it, everything matches up. Sakura went and got the poison. She barricaded herself yeah. in a room and she drank it. I was thinking that. She just seemed, I mean, like, it, like thinking about it, I was like, it, I knew. <sighs> I just wasn't sure they would murdered her. And then they all started acting super suspicious and admitting it. And I was kind of like, okay, so what? But there was just something more. And then I, at the end, at the very end, it was like Byakuya, where I was like, okay, he's the one who definitely did it. Because he's the one pushing it. He seems, he's on the back foot. He seems flustered. But yeah, it's like, um, I, it was always, it was in the back of my mind, but I was kind of like, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like, <sighs> I was like, I don't, I, I, there was something about Aoi that I was actually just, I was considering that she was the one that did it. I never really, yeah, I don't know. It's fucked. That's fucked, man. so she could end her own life. And that explains why we couldn't solve the mystery of the locked room. Yeah, it's literally... I found this case was, like, way, way, way all over the place. Like, uh, there's so many clues that you just... You get them in rapid succession, then you go right to the class trial, and there's people conflicting stories that you didn't know about before the trial. And I'm also... Maybe, maybe I'm just foggy in the head right now, too. Because, of course, Sakura wanted to create the locked room. Mm -hmm. The locked room mm -hmm. mystery was created by Sakura. I didn't think it'd get more complicated than that Hafumi Celeste one. I'm sure she locked herself in so nobody could stop her from doing what she did. She sat there, drank the poison, and breathed her last breath. And the empty bottle of poison rolled around the locked room until we came and opened it. At that point, someone grabbed the bottle and snuck it out of the room. And that was you, wasn't it, Hina? <laughs> Mm -hmm. You did it to throw off the investigation, didn't you? 
That's what I thought. That was my instinct too. Is I thought I thought that um, she was like, I want you, I want you to kill me and graduate, so you're safe. That was my that was my instinct. Yeah. When we found her body, you yeah. stayed right there near the there door. It is. Because you already knew Sakura was dead. And because the bottle of poison had rolled near the doorway. Let me see. You did thought I guess when you found it all. That's when you picked up the bottle, right? I was too shocked to notice anything. And Kyoko was busy checking the body. And the more I think about it, the more I realize how unusual your actions were. Oh, maybe we'll skip there. I have to g g go get them. I have to get the others. On shaky legs, Hina left the rec room. You said you were going to go get everyone else. But your real intention was to go to the chem lab and switch out the containers, wasn't it? Once you were at the chem lab, you headed straight to the section where the protein powder was kept. There, you took the powder and poured it into the bottle of poison you'd grabbed from the rec room. When you left the lab, all you had was the empty protein can. Thinking about it like that, the footprints make perfect sense. When you were done, you gathered everyone together. And once you were back in the rec room... Before Hina enters the room... Oh! I was thinking that. I was trying to keep track of that too, actually. I was trying to see, like, okay, there's three of us. I didn't know, uh, I missed that. I didn't realize that she hadn't entered the room yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, well, yeah. Yeah. Odd. I guess you have to be in the same room. You can't look through the glass and see the dead body. You have to actually go into the room. Otherwise, it would have played before we even got in. Ooh, what? A ogre? Hmm. While everyone else was focused on Sakura, you quietly placed the can on the ground. Honestly, I should have noticed. You should have been the first one to run up to Sakura's lifeless body. Mm. The Hina I know never would have left her side in a situation like that. True. So, Sakura committed suicide. In order to hide this fact, Hina undertook a series of actions to undermine the investigation. As long as you could disguise the truth, you didn't care if we blamed you for her death. That's why you didn't bother to get rid of such obvious evidence, right? The footprints in the powder and the bottle of poison? Vital pieces of evidence, and yet... So you're saying Hina consciously deceived us to make it look like she killed Sakura? <laughs> no! Oh, is just completely fucked. No! No, 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 no! I killed her! I did it! That's enough, Hina. It's over. It's not! Nothing's over! It is. Actually... No, you're right. You have to end this properly. <laughs> you have to. Oh yeah, okay. All right, Act One. Sakura puts the letters. Let's see, see, see. Okay, so there's the bottles. She puts the letters under her door. So that would be squat. Um, Act Three. I'm gonna guess this is just Toko. Oh, hiding in the lock. She goes into the rec room, hides in the locker. Um, he, she gives him the candy. He fucking, oh, and that's, oh wait, okay. Crack. Yeah, okay, they actually give you a hint with that one. Uh, okay. That's, that's there, so that's not it. So he bumps up against the bottles. He notices one. Um, and then it cracks open. And then he writes Toko in the thing. Uh, runs out of the fucking room. She fucking sees that. Uh, she puts it... Sees that. Puts it back. No, she puts it back like that. She get, oh, 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 no, that, I think that is her. Is that maybe, 
Oh, okay, yeah, okay, this, that's the one, that's the one there. She gets out of the locker, puts it back. Sakura's still there. Did, oh, she, she fucking cuddled her. Oh, fuck, that's fucking sad. Um, grabs the queen, smashes that bitty uh, on her. Sakura's like, God fucking damn it. She's like, <laughs> she's just fucking had enough. And she drinks the poison. We all see, oh my god, look at how terrible it is. It's Hina. And then she... What does she grab? She... Is that her picking it up off the floor? Yeah, I think it would have to be. She picks it up. And then she... Puts that shit there. Alright, I... Fuck, this is gonna be fucking great. I find this part the hardest, actually. Um, the killer is... I find, you. um, I find this, this part that I'm always, like, I always, uh, this case have so much trouble with. Asked a number of people to meet her in the rec room. Specifically, those people were Hiro, Toko, and Byakuya. Flip, flip. But one of them headed out a bit earlier than the others. Toko. She got there one step ahead of everyone else and looked around for a good hiding spot. Yes, you certainly did. Fuck. No, I didn't lay out my reason right. I need to rearrange the events of the case. Really? Did I mix them up? Like, okay, so maybe... I'm, I'm gonna guess it's her going in the locker, because I don't see why it wouldn't be. Um, so let's... Let's replace you. Yeah, that makes more sense. She's a little... Yeah, she's sweating. She's all sweaty. Uh, in that one, because she's so scared. And, okay. Here's exactly Boom. what happened. No, wait, here's exactly what happens. But one of them headed out a bit earlier than the other. Oh, I didn't even notice, do they actually? Up. Shit. She got there one step ahead of everyone else and looked around for a good hiding spot. Okay. And she found it. She crawled into the <laughs> locker to get out of sight. Dun 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 dun. Oh shit, there she then, be. From inside the locker, she saw Sakura enter the room. Next to arrive was big Hiro. fucking fat haircut. Oh, takes the candy. When he got there, he mistakenly thought Sakura was going to try to kill him, so he panicked. Nice. Her splash. Without thinking, he grabbed a nearby Monokuma bottle and attacked Sakura with it. Thinking he killed her, he hastily began covering up his crime. Miss Goober. Huh. He took a magazine from the table and forged a dying message from Sakura. To that end, he wrote down a name. Toko. By writing her name, he was hoping to pin the murder on her. But of course, Toko had witnessed the whole thing. So as soon as the coast was clear, she jumped out of the locker and hid the magazine on the shelf with all the others. But in her rush, she made one little mistake. She put the magazine back upside down. Oh, damn. Soon after, she watched as Sakura slowly opened her eyes. There she was, poor Sakura. Toko. She also saw the blood dripping off Sakura's head and fainted. Oh, that's so sweet how she's holding her. This caused her personality to switch back over to Genocide Jack. When she woke back up, her second personality also saw the blood-soaked Sakura, and she freaked out. Sha, ka crack. And nice. just like Hiro, she grabbed another Monokuma bottle and attacked her. This explains why there were two wounds on Sakura's head. Assuming Sakura really was dead this time, she set about disposing of the evidence. Psh. She gathered up the Whoa, broken look at her. Oh, look at her go. and the queen chess piece. All right. And that explains how Sakura was attacked twice with the same type of weapon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> but even after those two blows, she was still alive. Uh huh. Okay, good. So then, what was Sakura's actual cause of death? It was the poison that Sakura herself got from the chem lab. She turned the rec room into a true locked room scenario and then drank the deadly mixture. And there, she took her final breath. Later on, the rest of us discovered that her body was in there. We had to smash the door's window to get inside. But someone already knew what had happened. Knew that she had committed suicide. So she had confided in her? Or did she just see that? And oh, that she saw it. And same someone quietly snatched the bottle of poison from off the ground. <laughs> Genocide chilling back. And background. while nobody was looking, replaced it with an empty protein can. They did all this specifically to place all the suspicion on themselves in an attempt to guide the trial to a false conclusion. And the one who went to all that effort... <sighs> there it fucking be. You, well, ding, That's dang, the ding. the truth of the case. Yeah, I do actually like it. I, I I actually do like how they do that. Yeah, it's it's kind of a creative way to like. I like it. It's like a nice visual way instead of them just telling you like this is what happened and this is what happened. You're kind of like picturing it back in your head. They actually make you, so you actually know that you've understood it too. Sakura took her own life, and you claim to be the killer to hide that fact. Isn't that right? Mm-hmm. That's what happened, but. Makoto, how did you, how did you manage to, how were you able to uncover the truth <laughs> that even I couldn't discern? Big fucking brain. Just took the piss out of Makoto's voice. Honestly, that's fair. <laughs> huh? Oh, well, I mean. Huh? Oh, well, I mean, that's because I'm... <sighs> Big fucking brained, you stupid bitch. You still haven't realized? We don't all act according to calculations and cost-benefit diagrams. That's what makes us so complicated. That's what you don't understand. And that's why you couldn't solve this case. <laughs> See, didn't I tell you? When you dismiss other people's feelings, it'll always come back to bite you in the end. You dumb hoe. Yeah, touch your bottom lip. Do we still vote? <laughs> Sakura. No, we don't. I'll take an A. I will take an A. That's uh, that's half with me. I think I got one B, right? I've got one B grade. Oh, I have to click. Final results. Also very uh, good luck. One. It says one, two, three, four down there at the bottom. 99 medals. Okay. Okay, okay. I think we can all agree you made your point. Did you guys forget already? You still haven't voted yet. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Owie. You seriously forgot? <sighs> I can feel my energy draining out of me. Well, whatever. You don't really have a choice anyway. You just gotta do it. Maybe you don't want to, but please grab your lever and cast your vote. Case three. Oh, that was the Celeste and Hafumi one, right? So, who will be chosen as the blackened? I feel like I'm definitely gonna hit some, hit some C's. You know what they say, though. C's get degrees. <laughs> Am I right? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Mm -hmm. What's it gonna yeah, that be? one was tough. That one's that one was like just be? that one was the first one where I was like, it's really winding, and it's, it, I, I found that one hard to put together. Okay, I was worried that it was gonna be Owie and that they were gonna kill her, and I was like, that doesn't make sense. I was like, no, Owie, no, please. Okay. Too great. Yeah, that's right. The one who killed Sakura was Sakura herself. My entire existence. 
existence. Okay, we're done here. What, what did you say? So that's the whole truth, huh? I see. But there's still one thing I don't understand. Come on. Hina, why did you try to cover up what happened? If the truth hadn't come to light, you would have died along with the rest what of us. What are you thinking? Yet you... Why did you do that? What do you mean? Yeah, we almost died there. What is this? Because that's exactly what I wanted. Nani? I mean, the reason Sakura died is because all of you pushed her into a corner. You... You all killed her. So that's why. You should have been the one to die. I couldn't let her be the only one that died. <laughs> what? You don't mean... You were gonna t take us all with you? We have to atone for our sins. <laughs> Shit, man, that's heavy. Um. Yes. So she would have been executed. Um. She would have been. She would have been. Uh, yeah, I guess actually, no, she wouldn't have been punished because she wasn't. Um. The black end only. The black end only gets punished if they actually kill somebody. So they would have all. He would have all been. Monokuma would have been like, nope, you're wrong. It was actually this, and then. And then shit, that's what happens. Um, that's kind of fucked. Yeah, because everyone, even me, we all killed her. We all have to pay for our crimes. What? For, for serious? That's, yeah. What is this? Mm -hmm. You still don't understand? Then let me explain. Do you realize just how much despair Sakura was carrying with her when she died? Look at this. Such brutality has made me desperate. So instead of just waiting to be killed, I'll do it by my own hand. That's... I found it on the ground in front of the rec room. It's Sakura's suicide note. That was one of the things where I was like, actually turned me away from thinking that it was a suicide as there was no note. She didn't leave behind. I should have thought that someone could have just moved it. That's right, but I didn't think about it. Hello, Kitty Gaming 099. Hello, how are you? Uh, it's Sakura's suicide note. Um, suicide note. Thinking back, I should have seen it coming. It was right after Genocide Jack had attacked me. Sakura got mad and stormed out of the nurse's office. I ran out after her and... Um... Sakura, calm down. You don't have to worry about me. I'm fine. I can't calm down. I don't care if I suffer for this. It's my fault after all. But now you're suffering because no of me. No forgiveness! You tried to protect me, but because of me... I can't forgive this! My closest friend got hurt. S Sakura, I... because of me, my friends are all going to kill each other. That's heavy, man. This is all my responsibility. Sakura thought she was responsible. <laughs> Am I gonna stop at chapter five? Uh, yeah, I guess this next chapter coming up. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm. I. I go till two today, so I'll probably just wrap this video up and then, and then. Uh, thank you, my Sakura voice. Just put on the rasp. Yeah, I'll probably just wrap it up. Um, wrap her up today, uh, after we uh, settle all this. Uh, shitty kitty. I will be playing tomorrow. I will be playing this shit tomorrow. Uh, and you can also, you can't, I do play this, I, I do upload these to YouTube too. If you can't make a stream and, and you ever want me to see me play through these, these are on my YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, Sakura thought she was responsible. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate the follow, Kitty Gaming. Thank you. All right. Uh, she thought everything was her fault, which is why she wanted to find some way to get everyone to forgive her. So she asked me, asked to meet with, them. Oh, she wanted to find a way to get everyone to forgive her. Oh. Oh. You asked to meet with those three? You can't. Don't you see how dangerous that is? Mm. Don't worry. I just want to talk but... to them. Talk about what? Um. Listen, don't do it. If they all gang up on you at once, even you. Hina. Hina. I want to watch today, so you want to see reaction to finding Sakura. Mm, please don't think of things like that. They're not my enemy. They're friends. S Sakura. Goddamn. She clearly believed. She completely believed in all of us. If you just talk to her, you. If you. If you just. If you had just. Yeah, okay. If you just talked to her, you would have understood. She was a friend to all of us. And yet. Why? And yet. Shit, bitch. 
<sighs> you trampled all over her feelings, and then you did the unthinkable. Uh, um, no, that was just a, a misunderstanding. What Don't stand there and call it a misunderstanding. She believed in you, and you wouldn't even listen to what she had to say. Without asking a single question, you tried to kill her. I won't forgive you. Do you have any idea how desperate she was seeing you act like that? That's what her suicide note means. So instead of just waiting to be killed, I'll do it by my own hand. Why? That's how far you pushed her. Huh? Sakura, what happened to you? Hina. Oh, you came. Wait right here, I'll help you out. Hina. Oh, huh? man. Huh? Huh? I... I'm so glad I got to meet you. What's wrong, Sakura? Why are you talking I like that? I have a favor to ask. Huh? A favor? Some protein. Some protein. Could I ask you to... Yeah, you got it. Just hang on. I'll be right back. That was the last conversation I had with her. I went to the chem lab to get the protein she'd asked for. When I got there, I saw the powder. And that's when I realized... I saw that someone had taken something from the poison shelf, Sakura, so I ran back to the rec room as fast as I could, but by the time I got there, it was already too late. Sakura! Please! Let me in. Please open the door. Why? 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 Why did she have to die? She had weakness, just like any other person. If she got cut, she bled. If someone hurt her, she felt it. That's weakness. That's normal. And yet, why? you all blamed her. I tried to protect her, and I suffered for it. And that just added to the weight she had to carry. And I didn't even realize it. Hina, we killed her. All of us. We pushed her into a corner, and we murdered her. Why? People like us shouldn't be allowed to live. <laughs> And that's why you tried to lead us astray. You did your best to make us arrive at the wrong conclusion during the class trial. Sakura died hating all of us. I wanted to free her of her regrets, her regrets. But even that got found out. In the end, I wasn't able to do anything for her. I could never face her after this. Hey! Hey! Hey, sorry to interrupt right when you're about to deliver the final tearjerker, but... Hey. It's just taking so long, 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 long! I'm about to fall asleep over here. <laughs> I mean, do you really think you have any idea what Sakura was actually thinking when she died? What is this? What did you say? Hmm. Everything you just said is nothing but your interpretation, right? Your own opinion on what her suicide what note meant. Uh, of course I know what she was thinking, because her and me... In other words... Well, what I'm really trying to say is... Yes, indeed. Don't you think the entire foundation is shaky? What if it was really like this? What the heck? What is that? Of course. Isn't it obvious? Yep. A suicide note. Sakura's suicide note. But what? <laughs> Hina already. Too bad. Oh, I wrote that one. It was all me, baby. It's true. This is the one Sakura addressed to Hina and put in her room. Huh? What? Then you huh? lied to me. Unbelievable. Oh, don't say lie. It makes it sound so dirty. I just thought I'd liven up, liven things up a bit. Well, well now, well now, well now. I can't, but well, I can't help if you totally took my little scribbles at face value. <laughs> it didn't even have Sakura, Sakura's signature on it. You filthy little. I'm not filthy. I didn't do anything. Did I falsify evidence? Did I affect the outcome of the class trial? The case played out between you and you alone. You were the ones jerking each other around. Heck, if the will had factored in, it still would have been between you guys. So what's the problem? This is all part of the production process. Okay, and see. Cut. And? So then, what did she write in her real suicide note? What are you gonna do? I'm glad you asked. For your benefit, I shall read it using my melodic, angelic, harmonic narrator voice. Hey! Hey! <clears throat> but you know, haven't you ever been curious about the whole suicide note thing? Who came up with the idea of leaving note, leaving a note when you killed yourself in the first, kill yourself in the first place? But hold on! And isn't it just so unfortunate? Killing yourself is just so final, you know? <laughs> you can never hear the rest of their story. The truth is lost in darkness. It gives me the willies. <clears throat> Enough already. Could you get on with it, please? Yes, indeed! Okay, okay, jeez. Talk about a bullshit girl. All right, here we go. Hmm. <clears throat> My good friend, Hina, there's something I have to tell you. I hate to do it like this. But you need to know, this is my final wish. 
As you know, I've been giving information to the one who's imprisoned you here. It was our first night in this strange school that the Mastermind came to see me. See, the Mastermind took control of my family's dojo and demanded I become their tool. You might not see the importance of a dojo, but my family has watched over it for over 300 years. I couldn't let it be destroyed under my watch. So even if it meant my own life, I had to protect it. That's how I saw things. However, that was my greatest weakness. And because of that, I made the mistake of giving in to the Mastermind. And what the Mastermind wanted from me was nothing less than murder. They were probably worried that until the first murder had happened, nothing would move forward. But what neither the Mastermind nor I expected was the incident involving Sayaka. At that, point, at that point, the plan changed. The Mastermind told me to hold off, to wait until we reached another stalemate. However, as I lived here with all of you, as I lived here with Hina, my resolve began to weaken. Watching everyone fight with such despair, trying so desperately to stay alive. I saw the weakness in my own heart, the mistake of succumbing to the mastermind. And more than anything... I cannot betray those who would call me their friend. That's how I came to feel. So that's why Sakura... I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat, no longer compromise no longer regret. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. Resist you. <laughs> of course, because of that, I decided to reveal her secret, which made everyone else hate her. Her decision to stay true to all of you led directly to all of you hating her for it. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? Or maybe oxymoronic? Or just moronic. Of course, I understand if you all hate me. All of this is because of my own weakness. I'm perfectly willing to accept whatever attack you may want to make on me. So this is my atonement for betraying you. That's what I had in mind. But unfortunately, that's not enough. This won't end with just me accepting your hatred. My own situation has started having an effect on more people than just me. Which is exactly what the Mastermind wanted when they revealed my betrayal. My betrayal brought suspicion, disharmony. The Mastermind knew that eventually it would escalate into someone murdering someone else. Of course, I'm still responsible for that as well. Take responsibility for all your- for- take responsibility for everything, look at her go. And to fulfill that obligation, I have decided to do as the Mastermind has commanded. I will do as I was told and commit murder. But I've decided the one I'm going to kill is myself. If the Mastermind demands that I kill someone, then that someone will be me. Then my dojo will be safe. And above all else, none of you will have to kill anyone. When I die, the source of conflict among you all dies with me. For that, I'm willing to give up my if life. If it can save you, then sacrificing my own life could have no greater meaning. Whatever you think of me, please know that you are all my most treasured friends. Oh, shit, man. I've never had people like you in my life. Huh? Then Sakura didn't feel cornered. She didn't die hating no us. Way. She wanted to stop us from fighting? To protect us? Correct. She didn't end her own life because she was weak. Quite the opposite, in fact. She was strong. Too strong. That's why she killed herself. She chose death for herself in order to protect the rest of us. To sacrifice so much, no normal person could do that. However... It was only her limitless strength that made it possible. Owie Finally, zowie, Hina, I want to apologize to you especially. The reason I didn't tell you any of this is because I knew you would try to stop me. I'm really, truly sorry, but please don't be sad. If I can thwart the Mastermind's plans, if I can keep you from killing each other, that's enough for me. This is the path that I have chosen, 
This is the only way I have left to distinguish myself. And you can use this note to bring the cla class trial to a quick end. <laughs> she wrote that in the note. I'm so sorry to ask you to do something so unpleasant, but I'll have to leave the rest to you. Please talk to Byakuya, Toko, and Hiro on my behalf. I can't tell anyone about my plan while I'm alive, but I wanted you to understand why I'm doing this. In the end, though, I hope to show myself through actions and not words. Hopefully then they'll see. <laughs> I never saw you as my enemy. You were only ever my friend, who I wanted to help as much as possible. Hina, whatever it takes, survive. Survive along with everyone else. No matter what, just survive. Ding dang, dingle dongle. This is... I, I didn't understand how she felt. Not at all. I thought we were close and still... What are you gonna do? But in the end, all her meddling was like totally pointless. Oh. She died so you guys wouldn't try to kill each other, but you almost ended up doing it anyway. <laughs> Thanks to you, her death had no purpose at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. In fact, it was because of her stupid meddling that the rest of you nearly bit the big one. Too bad! She deserves all the blame. Everyone blame her! Go ahead, she deserves it. <laughs> now then, the next victim has been decided. What do you mean, next victim? Nobody here blames anyone. Huh? huh? First of all, you're in the wrong for tricking Hina with that fake suicide note. Oh my god. And plus, Sakura's death was the waste. Hmm. Because she made us remember. We're not enemies that hate each other. We're friends who need to work together. You know? Damn straight. This is all because of our misplaced hatred. Fuck my ass. I'm kicking this heater around like it's my fucking job. Well, uh, I don't blame her. I can't blame her. And nobody can blame Hina either. Uh -huh. <laughs> Whether or not there was a spy never really mattered because the one we needed to destroy is you. Nobody else. That's right. What? What do you Pulled want? him out of his big fucking purse. That's not how it's... What the heck? That's not how it's supposed to go. How strange. I never heard that vi That voice line right there was actually... My how strange. But anyway, are you sure about that? This killing game is a competition between all of you, hey. remember? Your enemy is each other. He's absolutely right about that. Phew. Ah, lovely Byakuya. You understand, don't you? Hm. This is a life or death elimination match. The only way to survive is to win. There could be no doubt that those are the rules of the game. Hm. Which is why I am bowing out of the game. <gasps> Huh? Naturally. Sakura and Hino were both willing to sacrifice their own lives to deny the reality of the game. Thanks to them, it would appear the others have cast aside their fears for this Don't game. Don't make me repeat There's myself. There's no point participating in the game which has lost that sense of excitement. Which is why I will no longer be participating what? in it. What's going on here? Now I only have one thing to look it's forward to. Now. And that is to heap the harshest possible possible <laughs> harshest possible punishment. The harshest possible punishment onto the one who thinks they can control me. B Byakuya, does this mean Don't misunderstand. I haven't been moved by some thoughtless sentimentalism, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Wherever master goes, I go, and if the mastermind turns out to be a guy, maybe I can catch on fire. Uh, everyone Hey. Well, now, can you say that Sakura's death had no meaning? <clears throat> How boring. But nothing good can come of this. <laughs> I'm still going to be the one having the fun time. What the heck? The fun... time? <laughs> Friendship. Mm. Mm. Over. Mm. Monokuma. Makoto is my best friend. <laughs> that's, literally, that's literally the move Yaka just played. <laughs> Uh, let's grab that good for nothing backstabber and get back you on track. You it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Punishment time. <laughs> Wait, but Sakura was technically the killer, right? And she's dead. You're not gonna. But is it me? Wrong. Oh, heavens no. Just because the blackened is dead doesn't mean I can just sub in whatever old, Ooh, whatever old student I want. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? I'm very particular about the bear times one rule. Listen up. But I spent so much time preparing my special punishment, it'd be a shame to let it go to waste. <laughs> So if I, for my special punishment, I prepared a special guest. A special guest? Robert Downey Jr. Let's no. give it everything. Didn't he? Poor fucking bastard. I knew it was bad to leave it in that room. Y you oh, You no. suck, man. 
You turned him into a mangled hunk of junk. That really took it out of me. Maybe I'll go grill up a plate of chicken. After all, they say for post-workout grub, chicken's where it's at, and I'm all about the grilled goodness. <laughs> Fried? Boiled? Give me a break. The color, ah, the smell, the succulents, the succulents. Grilled is where it's at. <laughs> nice. So. I realize how dangerous it could be, but still, I have to do this. I'm scared, but I can handle it. I don't really understand why, but when I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You might think I'm just some inhuman AI, but it's true. So, it's okay. If it's for the sake of everyone else, I won't be afraid. Well, Alter Ego's words raced through my heart and soul, and my disbelief gave way to raw anger. I was hoping, I was thinking about, um, I was thinking about Alter Ego, and I was like, this motherfucker. I was, I, well, leaving him in that room, first of all, I was like, that's, the, we know, I got attacked in there. So, like, why would we, why wouldn't we, we keep him in there? And then... I don't know, maybe he's uploaded himself to the to the web. Who's to say? Who's to say? I don't know. We will find out. The anger turned to fury, black and muddy and boiling over. It bubbled up through my body and quickly overflowing and shooting out of my mouth. How dare you? That was my friend! How dare you kill him? What's the matter? Huh? You were friends with a laptop? That's pretty pathetic. What's next? Friends with a basketball? Is that what, I wish they said volleyball, because that's what Wilson was, that was Castaway. Shut the hell up! He wasn't just a laptop, he was my friend, and you killed him. Hmm. Is that what you call animism? Where a soul dwells within all things? Even like, laptops? Hmm. Well, you can call whatever you want. Hmm. Bottom line is, it got in my way. It was trying to find things out, all sneaky sneaky. Just as I thought. Oh, you finally noticed him. Actually. Finally. No, 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 no. I knew about it from the very beginning. Koto truly is. We, I, I, I wish you could see what he looks like when he gets this mad. Uh, I knew Chihiro was doing something with the laptop, and I knew you were using it to analyze data. <laughs> I knew exactly how it was all going to play out from the start. Nani. What are you thinking? You knew, and you were still cocky enough to let us take the plunge. Yep. Well, I mean, the data on that laptop, it was, I guess you could call it a gift. From me Phew. to you. Or maybe more like a reward. In honor of you being able to unlock something so difficult. Hey, um... So, of course, I didn't care if you got access to that. <laughs> but sneaking into the network was just too personal. So I had to do a little, no, a little, you know, reformatting. I want to be able to help. I want to keep being helpful to everyone. I want to work as hard as everyone else so that we can all get out of here. <laughs> He's like, the punishment time. Yay! He fucking punches Biaki or something. And that's it. Just a blind, just a, just a bloody nose. Alter Ego wanted to fight for us. He wanted to help at the risk of his own life. And for that, you'll at the mark. <laughs> yeah, the punishment time has made me feel a billion times Very better. Nice. Experiencing a meaningless death is so soothing. It makes me remember that every low can get even lower. No, his death wasn't meaningless either. Everybody who's died so far, the deaths of each and every one of our friends, they all make us stronger. I swear to God, someday you will pay for this. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Holy moly, you're super mad. Like, just unreasonably upset. Well? Okay, time to bring things to a close. Oh, but before that, uh -huh. I need to read the postscript. What? Postscript? Yep. Yeah, there's still a bit more left of Sakura's note. Huh? Mm -hmm. oh, I always just be crying this whole time. Do you, I have your attention? Okay then, here we go. Piaqua would just like be like, he would literally just fucking freeze up, shit his little pompous pants. Prepare your ears for the dulcet tones of yours truly. One other thing, Hina, there's something I'd like you to tell the others. Hopefully it will act as a clue to help you unravel the mystery of this school. What? A clue? Hina. I've spoken with the mastermind off and on the whole thing. <laughs> she, uh, she did write down the yawn. Tokyo, yeah, she just bites his fucking arm off on the whole time on the whole time I've been here. And so I've learned one thing, which is the mastermind has done something to us. What did you do to my body? That's what he asked. I think what they've done is Oopsie yeah! Daisy, that was a close one. Another word that we would have been hit. Deep and spoiler territory. Okay, I don't want to ruin the supplies. Supplies. 
Uh, so book club is dismissed for today. Nani, you can't just stop at the most important <laughs> bit. It makes your brain rumble and tumble, huh? It makes you so mad you don't even friggin' know, huh? You guys? That's the whole point, stupid. It's to get back at all of you for hardening your resolve. Fine, but at least Sakura's <laughs> note. Like I'd ever let any of you grease balls have it. Huh? What would Aoi do in this situation if she got punched? Too She'd probably bad. bite him. <laughs> I'd bite him. Sucks for you, loser. Mm -hmm. Wait, what's this? What? What is it now? Wah -wah? There's one last line in the note. And let me just say this to the mastermind. I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you, you bastard. No matter what. And that's seriously it. Hmm? Hmm. Wow, what a stubborn loser, huh? She won't lay down and die. She'll fight you. Hmm. Well, whatever. Who cares what some dead muscle head has to well? say? Okay, I'm out of here. Hmm. You guys should try to go get some rest, you know? And maybe take some time to reconsider how you approach this school life of yours. Are you sure you don't want to graduate? You can really cut free from the regrets of the outside world. <laughs> think about that. Think long. Think hard. <laughs> Well, well, well. <laughs> That'll be my. What's the emoji? I have an emoji for that. My fucking bite emoji. <laughs> Let's see. There you go. <laughs> uh, those were his parting words to us before disappearing. But what was that all about? She's done something to our body, because Kyoko asked that. I think they're in a, they're, they've got to be in a simulation, because where are those photos coming from? What the fuck, man? I don't fucking get it. Sakura's final message, her last clue to help us solve the mystery of the school. The mastermind did something to us? Kyoko said something like that before, didn't she? It was after Celeste's trial was over. You. What did you do? What did you do to my body? Ooh. Nani. Oh. Answer me. What did you do to my body? The mastermind did something to our bodies. To our buttholes. What are they saying the mastermind did? What did the mastermind do to us? I mean, did the mastermind plant a bomb in us or something? And if we try to leave the school, a sensor goes off and the bomb explodes? I've seen stuff like that in movies and comics and stuff, so it's not totally unheard of. I don't I don't feel like that's it. No, I feel so awful just thinking about it. I don't feel like that's it, because like why would they board up everything then? I can't afford to acknowledge thoughts like that. Yo! Do something lewd. <sighs> so the class trial is over and Monokuma's gone. But... So now what do we do? Yes. What else is there other than to head back up? Uh, um... Oh, yeah. Okay, let's get out of here. But... but... I, um, Hina must feel, still feel responsible. Hmm. hmm. Dial back. <laughs> hmm. Dial back that ego a little bit, girl. Girl, the kind of mystery someone like you could pose is absolutely no threat. Not possible. I would never have lost to that kind of challenge. <sighs> what are you talking about? Kyoko and Makoto are the ones that figured everything out. Stop talking. Shut up. Seriously, I'm sorry. Hmm. <laughs> How many times do you plan to apologize? How about you make that the last one? Yeah, there, he's got he, I, he's he actually I, he, there is. Yeah, there is something I really love about him. I haven't reached a point where I need someone apologizing to me more than once. Sorry. Oh, OK, I see what you mean. Then I'll try. Huh? huh? That totally wasn't normal, right? Did she just c capture his flag? No, 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 no. Ooh, I cannot suffer the existence of someone who would disturb the romance between me and Mashta. Huh? What are you talking about? That's not, that's absolutely not what's happening here. Why would I ever go for a sleazeball like him? What did you say? Oh, he is, but I, there, and I think that's the thing. In real life, he'd, I'd be unfucking bearable but there's, there's, you just, there's that endearing thing. I think because you're right, he is the rival. And there's something, there's just something kind of endearing about fighting against him and like how he's just so, he's just so himself. This kind of happens with customers at the restaurant that I work at. Sometimes there's just some people and you're like, I, f I, I really don't like that person. And then you kind of like get to know them a bit more and you don't necessarily like them, but you kind of built up this, oh, hi. You kind of built up this rapport and like it, there's something that kind of comes out of that. There's almost kind of like mutual respect maybe. I don't know. 
Sleaze ball? What the heck? That's right. I called you a sleaze ball. Cause you are sleaze ball. See. Apparently, you still have a death wish. Oh. More biting sarcasm. No wonder you don't have any friends. No, 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 no! Hey, stop fighting with Master. You're making me jealous. I want the abuse at give and take. Me! I guess it's not so easy for him to act like friends. Well, that's just how it is for now. <laughs> so there's uh, six of us. One, two, three, yeah. Instead of getting down to five, we're just down to two. <clears throat> and so, Sakura's class trial came to an end, and we returned to the world of Hope's Peak Academy. But the story wasn't even close to over. No, apparently just over halfway. Time kept marching on. We all went back to our dorms, and before long, night snuck up on us. Nice. Such a long episode. Let's... <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Uh, okay. You know what I gotta do? It's 10, it is 10 p.m. I gotta call it there, though, because uh, I have to scoot a fucking booty duty. Um, so I am going to... Um... I'm going to do that. Uh, we will continue on. This episode's like ended up being super long, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna save right now before I forget. Um, but uh, yeah, that was a that was a good fucking time. Um, so we figured out Sakura's uh, Sakura's whole whole thing. Bye, Virgil. See you later. Thank, thanks for thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you, Kitty Gaming uh, 099 for the follow as well. Uh, hopefully, see you tomorrow. I have no pressure, of course. But uh, if you do ever want to watch these, also you can find them on. Uh, YouTube. I, I upload. I'll, I'll eventually be uploading all of them. Like it might be. There might be a delay, but uh, well, there's gonna be quite a bit of delay because right now I'm only doing these weekly. But I don't know. That's what. That's what it is. But um. Uh. Yeah. So I got a scooter boot. But um. Sakura committed suicide. Everyone's gonna be friends, and we're gonna fucking uh. We're gonna tear it up. Tear it up on the scene. But um. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and uh, thank you very much for watching.